Hey guys. Okay, so the end. Another attempt to get to hand locks. Uh, what can I say about this fight? The start of is incredible. Right, I'll flick the switch into altitude hold, so I've hardly got any movement on my surfaces. And I'm trying to figure it out, but I'm trying not to crash. And I realise when I'm in cruise, acro, buff, let's get out of there. I seem to have flicked on auto tune as well. But I'll switch that off when I tick. There we go. I'm still using the um, X8R, Free Sky, FR Sky, sorry, X8R, for my receiver, so it's 2.4 gigs. We're going to stay below the 100 and uh, the 400 feet. I, will, I mean, I will go above from time to time very slightly, but I'll bring myself down as soon as I realise. I'm, I'm sure the alarm is on this now. Ah, Hat and Locks, why there? I think it's because it's going across this countryside and Hat and Locks is quite a nice little feature to be able to get to. Uh, where we actually get to, um, it's 6.12 kilometers was the furthest distance from home I got. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, like I say, you know, we're staying below the height limit. And, uh, As best we can. Look, as you see, it's flashing there. Look, as soon as I realise I pitched down, as you can see from the pitch, and then uh, we start losing the altitude again. I've also noticed as well that my plane seems to have a better video signal when I'm a little bit lower. I think that's because my antennas are pretty much pointed directly out in front of me. still nice to be able to keep an eye on what goes on with my RSSI as well. When I go a bit lower, I get a higher RSSI. And then when I go higher, I think that seems to drop a, a bit as well. But it's the Boss Stocks Farm. So that my uh, going up in altitude here. But I'm keeping an eye on things like my RSSI, you see, as I go past there. Because I want to see um, what goes on with it. And I realise I'm too high and I start diving down again. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm constantly watching where, where I'm going through, you know. I do, I've said before, I'm sure, that I practice this on Google Maps. Um, I do it so I, I know what to expect. So if I do get disorientated, you know, as long as I haven't gone too far off course, then I'm going to pretty much know what to expect around me in the fashion of landmarks and, you know, just being able to see the shapes of fields. Never go on the colours because you don't know what time of year the, the picture was taken for Google Earth, Google Maps, whatever it is you're using. I use Google Maps and satellite view, so I presume it's then switching to sort of Google Earth mode. -y. Uh, yeah, so I've adjusted my on-screen display there, put it on a switch, but you probably have to tell straight away that I made a bit of a boo-boo. What I don't have, what I should have below the fly minimum, uh, the fly minutes, and between the throttle, is my distance to home. Distance to home. Now, this video I made or yeah I went out at this flight I made this flight before I made the the, the, the flight where I had the emergency landing protocol kick in uh, so on that on screen display I've got that sorted out but on this one I haven't because I have to move in the um, elements at the, at the sides as well and bring them in one because they're a bit too uh, a bit off the sides there but, and this is the reason why I didn't put this video up before. Just because I made this, this boo-boo with this. And uh, I just didn't think it was worth putting up. But, do you know, I've tried to replicate this flight about six times since. I've not been able to do it. I've uh, not been able to do it. Mm. Uh, so, 
I, I tell you where I get to, just where these two houses, when we go through them now, if I remember rightly, the RSSI doesn't drop down to zero, but every time I get to this point now, the RSSI for the um, control signal strength drops to zero. Now I can see it flashing away there now, and it got pretty low. What a fight now, compared to it. These are the sort of things I watch the videos for to see. Because I want to see why. But now look, 47. And I was doing it pretty much the same height before. I'll have to put these videos up or make a sort of um, you know, edit lots of clips from different videos and put them together. The bits that I've done but I've not put up. Because I've not been able to get through there again. So maybe there was just something really active on those days I've gone, or just this particular day. It wasn't very active. I'll have to try and get the original details from the files and work out the date and see what may be going on there. Right. So the road in front is before uh, where the first lot of tree lines is there is the road in front that we've got up to before. So we're definitely further out now than we are. And there right in front of the uh, in HD are the locks. You can see the the water. I know my FPV's a bit out now, but I'm in cruise control, uh, cruise mode, so I'm gonna carry on at the same heading and the same height. And just wait for it to there you go foul safe there's the locks or less there's some of the locks there's Hatton village and we're going to go back now and going across this way even though i'd have lost i would look, look see it's zero all the time the rssi for the control going across this way even though i wouldn't have had any rssi i would have still had a bit of video now my aeroplane now has a different frequency receiver on it and I'll be using a different module in the back of the Tyrannus. It'll be the 868 frequency. <clears throat> so I wonder you know what it's going to be like for video out there because if you see what it's like there that's usable, that's very usable. It's, it's, it's not as clear looking at it there as what it is when it's on my screen. In the, on the screen in front of me, I get a better, sharper, clearer image than what I do when I look back at it on the videos. Because sometimes when I look at it on the video like this on the right hand side, sometimes it gets a lot grainier than that. And I think, oh, you can hardly tell. But I, it, it's not like that for me on my screen. And these guys out there who fly PB, you know what I mean. You, you get a much clearer image on your screen. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I'm really pleased with that. You see it going down here with the it's some flashing now. All the time when you see it flashing on the um, module in my Tyrannus, it's beeping at me. It's beeping and beeping and beeping at me. Um, and for those that stand around and, and watch when I'm flying it, I just wonder what it is. I might just notice not a little bit high. They'll dive down. So that's it. Yeah, I can I can say I did it. I did it. I got to Hatton Locks. I got to Hatton Locks, and at the end of the flight, when you see the stats, you get to see the distance. And it's uh, six point one two, so six thousand one hundred twenty meters. And we were definitely under 120 meters, uh, uh, under 400 feet at Hatton Locks. And as you can see by the terrain, if you if you notice when we were back there, it goes up uphill a little tiny bit, and then sort of dips down in towards Hatton Locks. So um, you know we'd have we'd have had more land in front of in, in between the signal uh, at that point. <clears throat> I think it's because I'm, you know, I, I'm going, I've, I've gone up a bit high there again. I'm obviously, I'm going to start coming down as soon as I realise. But uh, my signal, when I'm lower, it seems to be a little bit better on the, on the video side. And that's it. Trying to figure it out. It's a bit high. And it doesn't seem like it there. But
be some some big old trees in the way of where I am. It's a little bit of a maybe that's what it is. It's a little bit where when I go back there, like I said, there's a there's a big old tree um, down by the corner, and I'm trying to point my way out of where where I launch from the second field, and then the top left corner of the second field is where I'm, my, my direction is going out of. But as I said before, there's a big tree on that corner and that is probably using um, springing up quite a lot of my signal. Both ways, in and out. Lovely seeing the countryside like. I've been planning more flights, but not going to go to the same place now. I'm going to go, um, if you imagine halfway up the picture to the left, the left side, halfway up the picture, down in that direction. There's a place called, it's about seven or eight kilometres out, called uh, Little Shruli. And I want to, I want to see if I can get there. But that's with the video. I expect my link to be able to do my radio control link. Um, but I'm not the video. I'm the, that's going to be pushing the video quite a bit. Like I say, now I've put the low frequency receiver on the airplane. We have to push it a bit further on distance and test out the video link with the antennas. So I've got a few different antennas to try out with you. Take off on this one was a bit. I couldn't understand why when I gave it full elevator, it was hardly doing anything. You know, full back elevator to pull up. And then I thought to myself, when I was pulling up, I thought to myself, oh, that's no good. So I better push back down again and land it and figure out what's gone wrong, what's happening. And then that's when I realised I just saw that I was in altitude hold. And of course, I'm. Um, if any of you notice that, that, that take off is pretty much 100% throttle all the time. The, the big tree down there, that's, that's what, uh, oh no, that's the one, I'm getting that way. Ah, oh, no, yes, this is the second reason why I didn't put the video up before, I remember now. It's because there's people, it's because there's people, but do you know, they're not really a problem, because they're down there, I'm not worried if they break my aeroplane. There's a fella down here called Simon. I don't know, he says that he, he tried waving at the airplane as I came in this area. He said it's just before you landed. I don't know if it's this chap walking down here on the left hand side. I can't really tell if he waved or not. Look, I don't actually go right over the people, there's just that one fella there and there's a couple of people there, but I need to bring it into land. I move out there way easy to see when I, when I see them. Speed 34. There we go, all down safe and sound. You get to see the stats now, see the maximum distance. We've got 6.12 kilometers out. There we go. Cheers for watching, guys, and I'll, uh, I'll speak to you in the next one.